Hello friends. Um, so th this video I was going to do at the end of November to kind of give a recap of uh, the fundraising efforts this year, but it's even in four days just been, you know, so overwhelming in, like, in a good way that, you know, I, th I thought I could actually do this now. Um, so I'm going to be running through sort of why I do Movember and then in particular kind of everything I've seen so far from, from the response this year. Now I've been doing Movember technically for, for 10 years. Um, and 10 years ago when I was 18, um, I wasn't actually fundraising at that point. I was just trying to prove to the world that I could grow a moustache. Now this photo is me on the 30th of November 2013. Do you know what's worse? I actually started halfway through October trying to grow a moustache. Look, look at that. But look how far we've come. So I started raising funds for November in 2017. Um, some of you extra folk might remember that uh, I was at you prayers. Mm -hmm. I've still got about a hundred of these. I genuinely don't know what to do with them. Like the, it's not my number on the back or my email and I haven't been there for five years. What can you do? When I, when I was at Uprez, uh, one of my real big um, points that I tried to put across was sort of the importance of mental health. And at the time, I, I did something similar. I did a video series with um, a lot of athletes, actually, throughout the year, just, um, you know, talking about you know, their, own, their own experiences and how, how it impacted them and how they, how they get through it. And, and it was similar to this year. I, I kicked off the campaign with my own video to kind of encourage others to, to speak up. And I didn't know, I didn't know what to expect, like if it would, you know, resonate with people, if people would, you know, want to do their own videos. Um, but it, it, it went really well. And uh, I think we did maybe 10 videos through the year, like loads of people, different athletes, um, so talking, talking about their stories. And it's, you know, it was, it was really, it was, it was really good. Not me, that's not me being, you know, um, blowing my own trumpet, but um, the the response from um, the audience was, the response from people was, you know, brilliant. In regards to the videos this year, I actually started thinking about it in, I think, January, because um, the dares had, you know, I was still raising loads of money, but the dares had, they were less frequent. There was, you know, trying to find a new thing to do was proving tricky. So um, I wanted to do something different this year. And back in January, I thought the idea of doing videos of my own experiences again. <laughs> and, you know, in my, in my last video, you know, I mentioned that I, you know, started November this year actually very late. Um, it was always my intention to start on the first, um, as you normally would. But I, you know, I, at that point I was you know, coming out of recovery almost. I, you know, I didn't have the right headspace as, as much as I wanted to do it. Um, so it, it did take a little while. And posted the first video on uh, Monday, I, th I think it was, yeah, four days ago. And it's the same, same thing. I. I didn't know what the reaction would be. I didn't know how, you know, if, if, if people would take it on board, I, I, you know, I, I just didn't know. I was, was like, I'm gonna do this and see what happens. Hopefully I can raise some money. In all honesty, in four days, it's, it's genuinely just been overwhelming. In, in, in such a in such a positive such a positive way, um, I think you know I've, I've hit seventy percent of my target now. I never would have expected, at the, the, particularly at this at this point. Um, but even more than that, um, 
the amount of people that have reached out to me, said like, this is so brave, and I'm so proud of what you're doing. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing this to be brave. Um, I'm, I'm doing it because I know what it's like to kind of just conceal information. And whilst it's making you feel terrible, you, you, you don't want to talk about it for, for whatever reason. And I think maybe, you know, t so far maybe t 20 people have, have messaged me from, from all walks of life, um, mostly men. Um, but, you know, this is people I went to school with, people I went to uni with, people I worked with, um, in, and in diff completely different places. You know, some of these guys I haven't seen for maybe, maybe 10, 10 or more years. Um, and some, some of the messages are so unexpected. Like I would never have thought that person would have, have gone through this or something similar. And it's, it's, it's great that, you know, by, by me doing this, that they have felt comfortable enough to, you know, reach out, reach out to someone or reach out to me and, you know, say, you know, I'm, I went through something similar. I know, I know how, how it feels, but I, you know, I didn't tell anyone or, you know, I've, I haven't been feeling great recently. And, you know, I think it might actually be something like this and like, I'm, you know, so, so almost thank you for sort of jo jogging that in me to make me, you know, want to speak to someone, which is like, incredible. The reason I wanted to like, tell you all this is that it really, it really uh, emphasizes the point that uh, Movember uh, tries to make, and that people people don't talk about these things, and it's so important that um, you do and you should. And, you know, there's some of the messages I've got was people in same friendship groups. And I don't know if they know about e each other, even though they've, you know, been going through through this. Whilst I'm, whilst I'm so happy that I feel comfortable enough to reach out to me, it's, you know, it's almost such a shame that they hadn't reached out before because we could have helped each other. You know, for all the people that have messaged me, you know, I'm, I'm almost certain there's so many more who have, have gone through like experiences like that, and you know, not kind of done what we we all do, and not, you know, not seek help uh, or support because they don't know how, or they're, you know, they're they're more pride their pride gets in the way because it's such a sensitive topic or you know anything I kind of want to finish with saying thank you so much for you know everything so far um there's still going to be i've still got a few more videos to do and um there's still a bit of my target to to hit so thank you to massive thank you to everyone who's donated um and to everyone that's messaged me um, in, in support or like telling their stories to me. Um, I don't think I've been able to reply to all of them yet, um, but it's, I'm, I'm so happy that the message is coming through. If you're out there and you think you are or have gone through something like this, please reach out to someone. And, you know, it doesn't have to be me. <laughs> and, you know, don't, don't be afraid. You have no idea how big your actual support network is and how many people will, would be there for you if you told them. So please, please do, because the only way to get out of these situations is to be open about them. Uh, thank you.